All right, hi class, good day, and welcome to our last unit that I am going to discuss in our uh, second semester. And this unit, this is unit eight, as you all know, and this is appointment. So today, this is the first part of our video lecture for unit eight. And today's um, series or today's part, we will be learning what are the our objectives or our competencies for this lesson. So first is you will be able to make suggestions. You will be able to talk about dates, okay, of course, in Korean language. And lastly, you will be able to make appointments. So scheduling an appointment is very important as well since your major is tourism management. That means you will be dealing with these kinds of situations in the future. So let's try to take a look at um, expressions that we will be learning for this unit. So the first is, um, I am going to tell you first the English. So we do have here, I have time. How do we say I have time in Korean language? We also have here, I don't have time. And then what's the day today? And then what did you do yesterday? Okay, so let's listen now to the audio file on how these expressions should be pronounced. 시간이 있어요. 시간이 있어요. Okay, if you are going to say I have time, you would say 시간이 있어요. Okay, 시간이 있어요. It means I have time. 시간 means time and then you know 있어요, it means you have. Okay, so 시간이 있어요. That means I have time. 시간이 있어요. 시간이 있어요. 시간이 없어요. Okay, I don't have time. 시간이 없어요. So, 시간이 없어요. 시간이 없어요. 시간이 없어요. That means I don't have time. What's the day today? 오늘이 며칠이에요? 오늘이 며칠이에요? 오늘이 며칠이에요? 오늘이 며칠이에요? 오늘이 며칠이에요? Okay, so, 오늘이 며칠이에요? Okay, remember class, this one, this is the final, or this is the batchim, right? This is the consonant that is um, that goes after the vowel, obviously, so we call this the batchim. And when we pronounce um, cases like this, for example, this syllable here is a batchim, well, this one, the next syllable, ang gauna niya, it's a silent or the iyong, so what we are going to do is we are going to carry over, okay? This one, same same principle to up, to be applied in this as well so we gonna carry over just like here that's why we don't we say shigani is up soil okay and then here onuri myochirieo okay so we carry over onuri myochirieo okay let's listen again onuri myochirieo onuri myochirieo okay what's the day today next what did you do yesterday so 어제 뭘 했어요 어제 뭘 했어요? 어제 뭘 했어요? 어제 뭘 했어요? Okay, so um, if we are going to listen to the audio file, this one is kind of being carried over, right? 어제 뭐, 뭐 했어요? 어제 뭘 했어요? 어제 뭘 했어요? So if we are going to pronounce this one, like not because the speaker here is kind of, you know, uh, pronouncing it fast. So if we are going to do it syllable by syllable, of course, this will be a che mol hesoyo. Okay, mol hesoyo, mol hesoyo. So oje mol hesoyo. Oje mol hesoyo. Okay, oje mol hesoyo. But then you can also do it like quite fast. You can, you know, it will be like Oje more soyo. It's fine because the way we also listen to the audio file is that it's, you know, the, the phenomenon become, becomes like that due to because if we are, you know, we speak so natural already in Korean language, that would, you know, normally happen. Next expressions are then how about in front of the bookstore? Because when we Diba pag mag mag pag mag set tayo ng appointment is that of course you have to ask do you have time 
um, if you will agree that, okay, I have time today, so what, what time would it be? And then where should we meet, okay? How about on Saturday? Things like that. Pag hindi kayo mag-agree on that day because somebody has a conflict schedule. And then there is a must to really meet each other. Then you can um, have another day for that. And then fine or good, you, you would just say Joyo. So let's try to take a look at Then how about in front of the bookstore? So here, class, of course, you are now trying to agree on the place where you are going to meet. 그럼 책방 앞은 어때요? So, 그럼 meet. 책방 앞은 어때요? 그럼 책방 앞은 어때요? Okay. 그럼 it's of course then 책방 this is bookstore. 책방 앞은 어때요? 어때요? Okay. So 어때요 it's like a suggestion, okay? So 그럼 책방 앞은 어때요? So this is your 그럼 statement. 책방 앞은 어때요? Okay. 그럼 책방 앞은 어때요? So this one is like then how about in front of the bookstore? Then um we will have here how about Saturday? 토요일은 어때요? 토요일은 어때요? Okay. 토 토요일은 어때요? So of course, uh, previously you learned about the different days of the week, right? If I may recall, you have learned that, right? But if not, then you will be learning also here in this unit, Unit 8 appointment. Toyo yirin oteo. So if you notice, class, oteo here is again used because, of course, here you are suggesting as to the day, okay? When you're gonna meet. Here is you suggested a place where you meet the person. So, grom. 책방 앞은 어때요? And then here, 토요일은 어때요? How about Saturday? And then if everything is fine, then you would just say 좋아요. 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 Right here, class, this one. This is um, silent. Hawa na ni Shay sound ang hiyot. So don't say 좋아요. No, it's 좋아요. 좋아요. Okay, this one happens to be um, na drop na ang sound niya. Okay? So let's repeat again. 그럼 책방 앞은 어때요? 그럼 책방 앞은 어때요? Next. 토요일은 어때요? 토요일은 어때요? 좋아요. 좋아요. Okay, now uh, we will now learn um, months of the year. So they, these are now our vocabulary. So we do have here 일월. Okay, 일월. Irwal, January, Iwal. So this is just easy class because what you will do is you have to remember our Sino Korean number vocabulary. So we know il i samsa uyuk chilpal ship, right? Shibil, shibi. So those are the things that you need you need. But then after uh, the number, the number vocabulary you are going to add wall. Okay, so this one, that's why it will become irwal. But then here, since it becomes one word, dapat i-carry over ni siya. Irwal, iwal, samol, sawol, uwal. However, di ba class, ang six is yuk man, yuk. But then, it's special case, um, you are not going to say yuk. Okay, you have to drop the sound, um, the giyuk sound, so it will just become yuwal. So June here is very special, ha? Huh? Basin yung mo yung mga yuk wall o yuk wall. No, it's you wall, you wall. You have to drop. Actually, the, the batchim in yuk is dropped. So, it will just be you wall. And then, we have for the July, the seven months. So, chill, chill wall. Okay? And then, August, par wall. September, gu wall. October here is again the same scenario with the June. You are going to say she wall. Okay, don't say she wall. No, she wall. And in November, it's 11. She bill, she bear wall. Okay, she bear wall. And then December, it's she be wall. She be wall. She bill, she bear wall. She be wall. So remember that. Ear wall, e wall, sam wall, sa wall, wall, you wall, cheer wall, par wall, gu wall, she wall. She be wall and then she be wall. Okay, so it's easy because all we need to do here is really to remember 
the vocabulary for Sino Korean number system, but then remember for June, na drop ang batchim, so though with the October. So you don't say you call, but you say you all, and for the October, you say she wall. Okay? I hope that's clear. So we have here for the time, what date? It's myo chill. Okay, myo chill. This is what date? Myo chill. And then month class, it means wall. And then day means ill. Okay? So, um, the way it's written, by the way, you are going to have it this, no? Myo chill, not this way. Okay, remember. For example, onuri, onuri myo twal myo chill ini. Okay. Myo chill ini, ini. So, you are going to use to use here, myo chill, not this way, okay? Not the way this one, because this one is wrong, okay? Because when you are going to write it, it's this one, myo chill, it means what day. Okay, so this is the correct one, all right? Now let's proceed to um, places, okay? Let's proceed to places vocabulary. So we do have here library, those have one. You know, uh, your place vocabulary, these are very important since when you're going to really um, set an appointment, of course, we have to make sure that we also agree with a person we are going to meet with, with if asa pa ninyo mag-meet, right? We don't just say, okay, we'll be meeting on Saturday, on Monday, whatever, but then we are not going to agree which place are we going to meet, right? So that's why. Very important for you also class to know the place vocabulary. So let's try to take a look at library is those hog one. Bookstore is check bang as previously used in the expression. But there is also another way of saying bookstore and that is hajom. Okay? Sajom, check bang. So um check bang it's easy because you know already check means book and then bang means room. So it's just like you know, book room, right? Kung literal lang a translation it would like mean book or book room not book or ha, book room so but there are two ways so saw jump and then check bang movie theater guk jang okay for movie theater there are also two guk jang and then yong hua guan okay yong hua guan this is movie theater city hall is shi chong shi chong and then coffee shop is copy shop okay copy shop that's coffee shop. So, do so guan, so jom, check bang, guk jang, yong hua guan, shi chong, and then coffee shop. All right. Now we do have here more um, places, vocab places. Park is gung wan. Okay, gung wan, park. Airport is gung hang, gung hang. Mart is matu. That's why class of that tumu sa bugo. Mayingon tayo nga Korean Mart. Try to read the signage there in the Korean Mart. It says Hanguk matu. Hanguk means Korea. And then matu means Mart. It means Korea Mart. Okay? So, Gungwon Park, Gunghang Airport, matu is Mart. Department store is Baekhwa Jom. Baekhwa Jom, department store. Byungwon is hospital. And then Yakuk. Yakuk is pharmacy. Now remember, Kanisha class, the batchim here is Giyuk, and then the next syllable is also Giyuk, right? The same the show principle with the Hakyo. Hakyo here it becomes, uh, you know, Hakyo it means school. Ang pag pronounce na niya class, it becomes double dog sang Giyuk, okay? Or double Giyuk. So that's why we are going to say Yakuk, okay? Yakuk. So. You have to know that principles in terms of pronunciation. So let's pronounce Gungwon, Gunghang, Matu, Baekhwa Jong, Byungwon, Yakuk. Okay, next. For the clothing store is Otkaji. No, no. Otkage. Okay. Otkage. Otkage, that this is clothing store. Post office is Uchebuk. Okay, post office. Uchaeguk, playground Undongjang, okay Undongjang, bank Unheng, school Hakyo, okay just what I said earlier, right? Same principle with the Yakuk. Next is convenience store is Pyonejong, okay 
Pione Jong Convenience Store. So, clothing store, Utkage, Post Office, Ochegook, Undong Chang Playground, Unheng Bank, Hakkyo School, and then Pione Jong Convenience Store. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Now, we do have here vocabularies. This time, it would not be a place, but, you know, just important or some useful words that you may be able to use, right? So, we have here to swim is suyong hada. This is a verb plus ha. Suyong hada. Front is up, which you previously learned already in our um, locations and directions lesson or unit. And then jomshim, this means lunch. Jomshim. Japanese, ilbono. Okay? Ilbono, it's Japanese. Shihom, shihom is test. Okay? Like, by the end of this month, you will have your shihom. Okay? Final test. And then, sengil is birthday. So, now let's try to take a look at, again, suyong hada. Suyong hada. Suyong. Suyong hada. To swim. Up. Front. Jomshim. Lunch. Il, ilbuno Japanese Ilbuno Japanese Shihom test Sengil Birthday Suyong Hada Suyong Okay Suyong Hada This means to swim Alright Now another vocabulary we do have here Pati Okay It's very easy because it's in English being Koreanized So Pati Pati it's party Korean Thanksgiving is Chuseok Okay Chuseok And this is like a Huge holiday also in Korea, no? Choose home. And then, suk che hada. Suk che hada, it's do homework. So, suk che hada. Okay? Suk che hada. Alright. So, let's try to uh, move on, proceed with the next slide. So, uh, but before proceeding class, don't forget, let's try to pronounce again. Pati, pati, and then choose hop, suk che hada. Okay, so very good. Okay, now words that go together. Shigani itta. Okay, shigani itta. This is um, base form of the verb, you know, isayo. Ang yang pinaka base form na ang yang. Uh, to, uh, like to have time or to have it's ita, but then conjugation naman ng isayo, you know things like that. So, um, yaksogi ita, meaning to have an appointment. Yakso, yakso class it means appointment. So yaksogi ita, and then shihomul Buddha, shihomul Buddha to take a test. Okay, by the way, um, talking about Korean Thanksgiving. So, definitely the Thanksgiving or the Chuseok would, you know, it's not, it's not always the same um, date. But for 2021, they celebrated it last September 20 to September 22. So, that's um, always a three-day holiday, okay, Chuseok, so Korean Thanksgiving. So, going back, these are the words that go together. Shigani itta, yaksoki itta, and then shihomul buddha. Okay, so for the first part of our video lecture series for Unit 8 class, let's end it here first with the expressions and the vocabulary. And the next, um, the part 2, we are going to take a look at now on key dialogues and then exercises as well. So, thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to watch this video and at the same time memorize the different vocabulary that you have come across with this first part of our Unit 8 or appointment. So, thank you very much. Chongbal kumawayo. Annyeong!